guys and welcome to another video i'm karen and you are welcome if you're new to my channel don't forget subscribing and hitting the notification bell today i want to play with this juvia's place palette this is called the saharan the saharan and i recently received it received it in the mail after purchasing of course this is how it looks like i love the printing of the juvia's place palettes look at that they are magnificent and look at these shades i have to say that the first time i saw these shades i was intimidated i thought to myself there is no way i can create a simple office look using these shades they're very bold and they are intimidating so i did it i created a soft office look using this palette and i'm going to recreate it again today to show you that the devil is not that bad <laughs> and you can create simple office looks if you don't want anything too dramatic or too strong and to use this palette okay to start i'm going to use uh well i have two eye primers um eyeshadow primers i have my usual la girl pro pro primer high definition eyeshadow primer and this smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer so let's use one eye with the smashbox one eye with the la girl so we can see which is better and which is doing a better job so i'm just applying this guy here with my finger and it's very sheer and the other side with the la girl which is definitely more opaque i have leftovers from my previous makeup application i didn't remove probably my makeup that bad didn't remove my makeup that bad whoa that's a sentence for generations to come <laughs> okay so as you can see this side the primer is definitely more opaque and this one is more sheer so I can't cover really let's try again to cover the old shadow as I said I want to recreate an office look okay I added a, a more more material but except of my lashes they are not coated I don't see a difference okay let's start ah oh, this is annoying now it's all over my lashes and this is very annoying I'm just taking a clean brush and trying to clean my lashes okay better okay let's start <laughs> this was funny and I'm going to start with cut Sina this brown shade here and I'm going to apply it in my crease above my crease so this is the side with the smash box and the other side is with the LA girl so I'm just adding it above my crease as a transition shade I love that palettes have a relatively light color matte color to apply on or above the the crease to create a transition shade so I'm just going back and forth 
and adding some more I'm curious to know if you like me you like these kinds of videos when I show you simple easy looks for the office for every day you don't have to go to the office you can just you know an everyday soft easy look let me know comment section down below I love to hear that okay what did I do next which shade did I use oh okay now I remembered I used uh, borrow borrow I don't know strange names this guy here and I'm taking a clean brush this is just dirty from one side I'm using the other side I washed my brushes the day before yesterday but they are now dirty again and I have to rewash them so I'm just dipping in and applying my outer corner and look at this beautiful color beautiful but still it's soft it's not so bold you can definitely wear it to the office I know I did the other day I think it was two days ago if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to use a different palette each day because I have so many palettes so okay and now I took this shade Zoya which is this beautiful shade okay so this one was in the crease and this one was in the outer corner and now this one is in the inner corner no it wasn't Zoya it was Lulu sorry yeah, now I remembered it was this color here. Should have written that down, right? Yeah. But I didn't. This is beautiful pink, rose gold pink shade. Beautiful, soft. And I'm just adding it, tapping it to the lid. I'm not rubbing it, I'm tapping it. And here where the two shades are connected so I'm taking additional for the other eye just tapping it and when I come to the other shade I'm just want to mix them together like that look what a beautiful shade this is just gorgeous yeah, it will zoom in sometime, I guess. Yeah, now. <laughs> Beautiful shade. I'm going to take my buffing brush and just soften it a bit so it won't be so harsh. One of the reasons that I'm using the transition shade is to help with this transition from shade to shade. Yeah, I know. I know that was whoa okay now let's take eye man which is this white color here and add it to the inner corner i'm just taking a small brush this is by ColourPop uh e21 and just adding it to the inner corner like that it brightens the eye Too much of the white yeah, 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 yeah. okay so I'm adding a tiny bit of Lulu so it won't be so intimidating because I took too much just to show you that everything is fixable now I usually leave my lower lash line without anything like this this is how I usually go to the office but let's try one eye and let's see what I like more with or without 
So I'm just take took borrow the red color, just applying it to my lower lash line halfway. And let's take a different brush and take from Lulu, which was the pink gold. And add it to the lower lash line like that. Now, let me know what do you think is okay. What is here? Yeah, I have Fallout. This is fun. I hate Fallout. I hate Fallout, but let's take some of the concealer and conceal it. You know, concealers are. For concealing I know shocking right yeah <laughs> okay now this is the eye with the lower lash line has color on it and this is the eye without color in the lower lash line okay so which one do you prefer well, I have to say that it adds a lot when you are adding color on your lower lash line. It looks better, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to repeat what I did and taking borrow, borrow. So this and this. And the inner corner is the dark shade. So I'm just adding it until midway and then I'm taking from Lulu and adding it now if we want to see more of Lulu we need to take a setting spray I have here my setting spray by Derma E I don't have another setting spray here okay we'll use this one I usually have my Jura Cosmetics one, but it's all over now. So I'm just spraying the brush and my legs and adding for more impact. Where is the lid? Yeah, here. Okay. S disgusting smell. And let's add a tiny bit more from the white which was eye man tiny bit to the lower lash line it's very pigmented so be careful not to overdo it okay i have to say that i do like it better with color on the lower lash line it looks better Okay, so let's pop in some mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. Okay, so I'll pop in the mascara and I will be right back. Well, I'm back with mascara. This is the final look. So as you can see, Saharan, this Saharan by Juvia's Place looks very intimidating. So many dark shades, you don't know what to do with it. Voila! I think this is a perfect look for the office and I love the end result. Exactly, no, well not exactly because I didn't apply anything to the lower lash line when I went to work the other day. But other than that, it is the same, same colors I chose for this look, same colors I chose for the look that I did the other day when I went to the office. So. It's definitely appropriate in my opinion of course you can disagree that's okay okay so this is it this is everything for me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you leave and i'll catch you all in my next video bye